It just looks like I just splatted paint onto a canvas. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Are you ready? I'm your host Em, this is Marcy, and today on the show we are going to be exploring some of the cool painting trends I've been seeing on the internet. <laughs> More specifically, the painting trend where the cool artists put a whole heap of paint into a bucket that has holes at the bottom of it and then they just let it swing over a giant canvas. Yep, that one. <laughs> Parents, don't freak out. We are not going to be hanging no bucket from no roofs and letting it swing. That's not how this is going to go down. But we are going to try and do our own cool version right here at home. Marcy, is that a sign that you're ready? Yeah? Are you ready? Great. Then ready, here we go everyone. Come on, let's go! All right everyone, it is time for paint trend number one. Now in this paint trend, I don't know if you've seen the videos, uh, people dip rope into paint and then like put it on a canvas and then pull and it creates like a cool flower. Yeah, I'm really hoping the same happens for me. So what you're gonna need is a canvas or you could also just do this on a piece of paper. You can get these from Kmart though, they're like $5 for four. Winner! Um, so I've got a canvas. You're gonna need rope. Now, the thing is, I only have two small pieces of rope. It's all I could find at home. So I improvised, and I have also now got tiny bits of material. <laughs> because here at Em's World, it's all about just using what you've got. <laughs> so that is uh, what I'm gonna be using, some rope and some material. And then you're gonna need a whole bunch of paint. Again, thank you, Kmart. <laughs> so, according to the videos I've seen, all they do is they like dip the rope in the paint and then put it on the thing in like a cool spiral and pull. I'm sure it's that simple. So trickiest part of the day, what color are we gonna use? <laughs> Green, how many do you think? Four? Four, good one. Yellow, maybe some blue. Red? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, now all I'm gonna do, oh, it's got a seal on it. Oh, well, at least I know it's fresh. <laughs> Time to, I guess, just put the rope in. Hmm. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> all right, we've well, got one in. Let's um, do another. So all I did is I pushed the first bit of rope in and then to help it go in, I just got a spoon and um, pushed it in. Now you don't have to put the whole rope in, don't put the whole rope in because you've got to pull it eventually and you want paint all over your hands. Now the idea of putting them into the pot, uh, I think is to get them like really covered in paint so the whole thing is covered in paint before you put it on the canvas. I think, again, making it up. Alrighty, so my rope has been just chilling in the paint pots. Now comes another messy bit where I'm gonna take them out and try and make like a cool spiral on my uh, thing, canvas. So I'm gonna start with red. So far so good. Now to somehow beautifully craft a spiral. Do my piece of paper. Alright, well I've got one. It's not too bad. Let's try a material one. <laughs> oh, this is so much longer. Oh no. Maybe I should have just done three. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Oh no. All right, two. All right, everyone. 
everyone, the moment of truth, I'm going to pull my rope. Here we go. Um, yep, yep, I'd say. Oh dear, oh dear. It just looks like I just splattered paint onto a canvas. That's not the end result you're after. That's a nay, that is. In the world of yay or nay, uh, if we're going with like cool experiments, that's a nay. <laughs> Ta-da! Looks exactly like those amazing Pictures you see using paint and rope that look like flowers. I mean, it's not all a loss. It's kind of cool, but just not the effect I was after. So right, that's paint trend number one. All right, everybody, before we head on to try out trend number two, hopefully it goes better than number one, uh, we've got a new segment. Yes! Uh, the segment is called Drumroll, please. Marcy. Madness. That's right, Marcy Madness. I've had a lot of comments about how awesome Marcy is and how they'd love to see her in more episodes. So here it is, uh, the very first segment of Marcy Madness. Now today we are looking at paint and all things colourful. So I asked Marcy what her favourite colour is. Take a look. All right, everyone, Marcy is eagerly awaiting to come and pick her favourite colour. Go, Marcy, go. So she will sit when she finds her favourite one. Oh, it's not blue. Sorry, blue, not you. Oh, not green. Oh, it's pink. Is your favourite colour pink, Marcy? Never mind that you're colour blind. Oh, yes, good girl. Okay, good girl. <laughs> Look at me. Was that fun? Thank you, Marcy. And everybody, that has been our first segment of Marcy Madness. Thank you for that, Marcy. Uh, that is an excellent colour choice. <laughs> uh, alrighty, now we're moving on to trend number two, probably my favourite. This is the one where we pour a bunch of paint onto a canvas and it just like out the side and looks really cool. So all we're going to do is pick our paint colours. We're going to block off the end with our finger and we're going to pour all the paint into the funnel. Then we're going to put our canvas onto our tray. We're going to let go and all the paint is going to fall onto the canvas and we're going to see what happens. Hopefully that awesome effect happens uh, where it's just like cool paint splattered everywhere. That's the effect we are going for. All right, let's go silver first. Um, gold, then my blue, bing, and purple. My favourite colour. Let's go! Oh, wow. All right, so the swells are awesome. I just need the paint to move around my canvas a bit. So I'm going to move it for it because it's quite thick. So if you have thinner paint, it'd be much better because you wouldn't have to then do this. But it's looking super fun. Yay! All right, again, I'm not really sure that that's how that pour is meant to happen. I think you need thinner paint. So paint technique number two, I have to say you're a nay. Oh. All right, everyone, we now need to test out paint trend number three. Here it comes. Similar to paint trend number two, uh, in the sense that usually those amazing paintings are swinging and doing all sorts of cool things. And I thought, how can I replicate that at home? Well, the internet gave me a fabulous idea. If you've got one of those lettuce dryers that you like put the lettuce in and pull the thing and it goes round and round and round and round, that is the best way to get your paint to spin. I don't have one of those, so we're making it up. Now, yes, I am using a bowl. I'm also gonna be using a different canvas. Get excited. I'm using a love heart. Uh, if you have seen our episode about the crayons, melting crayons, um, we did it on a love heart. And this is from that same episode. So I had a spare little heart left and it fits perfectly into the bowl. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put big blobs of paint on my heart, all over the heart. 
I'm gonna put Glad Wrap over the top. It's also why I've got the glass bowl. Not only does it mean you can see what's happening, um, but the Glad Wrap will stick so that I can theoretically give it a spin and the paint should be like, whoa, 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 and then I should have a really cool effect. In theory, the last two have gone well, so let's hope this one does better. <laughs> Blob on some paint. So we're gonna have a big chunk of pink, Big chunk of green. We're going M's World colour here, everybody. Big chunk of purple. And a big chunk of blue. And last but not least, sparkly glitter. Alrighty, this is what it looks like so far. Yay! Glad wrap on. Make sure the paint cannot escape. I would also recommend if you are going to try this at home, please do it outside away from any walls, anything. That is sealed off though, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just gonna give it a <laughs> spin and a shake and anything. <laughs> Whee! Okay, the spinning's not working because I really need one of those um, lettuce things. If you are gonna use the lettuce dryer, please make sure you ask your family first. So all I'm gonna do is give it a shake in the bowl and hope that it does something. I want one of these to work. Yeah, 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 shake, shake, shake. Ba, ba, ba. Do, 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 do. <sighs> all right, Skiz is gonna get, I think. Um, it's made a really pretty paint color on my bowl. I'm happy with that. Oh, well, look. All right, again, my paint, probably too thick. It didn't go very far. However, I mean, maybe I've invented my own paint trend. Because this isn't that bad. The colors are pretty. It's got like a cool splat effect on the outside. Like I would hang that in my office. That's cool. I'm gonna say that's a yay. And maybe, you know, when Kmart's restocked, I can get one of those cool lettuce dryers and try it properly and try with a bit more runny paint. But, I'm gonna say that's a yay! Yay! I like that. Right, I'm gonna hang that up. All right, everybody, now before we finish up today, we have a little bit of an announcement. Next week, we are gonna have a brand new segment and it's called Ooh, fancy! <laughs> now this segment is involving you, which is why I'm telling you about it today. This segment, in fact, is all about you, everyone out there watching. What I would love to see is for you to all send me an email of your amazing creations, adventures, science, things that you do in the kitchen, absolutely anything. Now make sure it is just a picture of your amazing cooking or craft or science or whatever it is you're doing and that it doesn't have your face in it. As much as I'd love to see your smiling faces, to be able to put it in next week's episode, I need it just to be of your amazing creation. So if you could send that to emma at emsworld.com.au and we will put it in future episodes. <laughs> so make sure you write your name, a little description about what it is you got up to, what the photo is, and send it on. So that's it everyone. That is the ooh fancy new segment that will be starting next week. All right, but unfortunately that brings us to the end of this episode. There was a lot of nay and not a lot of yay, but it was a lot of fun, I have to say. Good luck painting everybody and we'll see you soon. Now, if you're watching this on uh, the amazing U of Tubes, can you please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, pretty please. If you are watching this on Instagram, give it a little double tap, a little bit of love. And of course, if you want more of M, everything is the same. It's at M's World. AU, including our YouTube link now. Yay! Uh, thank you to everyone who has subscribed recently. And if you would like more of me, i got a website. It's uh, msworld.com.au. <laughs> That's it. All right, everybody. We will see you next week for more fun, more games, more segments, more of you, and of course, more Marcy. <laughs> Bye! Come on, let's go. Everybody, let's laugh and sing. Look at that. I don't really know what to do with that. Where do I put that? Come on, clap your hands, let's sing and dance. I'm so satisfied.
Oh, that's why I'm here, everyone. Alright, let's just 